Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Now this is a bit of a horror vlog. Um, I've been going through a lot of the cacti as I always do. It's spring now, lovely gorgeous day. So I've been going through them all, doing a bit of um, bug inspection that I do regularly. And uh, I happen to say I have found mealy bug on my um, one of my large ferro cacti. And normally during the, the spring and summer, I treat all the, the cacti in the polytunnel with neem oil. I give them a spray of neem, usually about once a week to start off with. Then I go on to using it every two to three weeks. And I never have any pests. It's been the best thing I've ever used. But obviously they've come over the winter and I keep it, keep all the cacti and uh, succulents dry over the winter period. So I don't like to be spraying with neem oil because I don't want to encourage any dampness. And that's, of course, you stop using it for a few weeks and there you go it comes back again happy to say i've gone through the rest of the collection they all look very very good and um, lovely to see signs of buds coming up on a lot of the uh, the cacti already which i'm really excited about such as there and uh, lots of little tiny little buds forming also very excited and they're all good but the ferro cactus is absolutely covered in mealy bug look at that and i've made many videos on how to how to treat mealy bug on cactus and succulents and uh, my favorite method is obviously neem oil is a brilliant one to use more so as, as a prevention but it is also a treatment but neem oil takes a lot longer to work than using something instant. I don't like to use chemicals unless I absolutely have to, but nearly all, it nearly always works when using um, the isopropyl alcohol, commonly known as rubbing alcohol, to get rid of the bugs first, and then I treat it then with a neem oil spray, um, horticultural neem mixed with horticultural um, what, um, soap, and then I use it then. I repeat the process if they've already got mealy bugs. I repeat the process about five days later and then another five days. And then I use it weekly then after, the, after that for the first month. And then I use it once every two to three weeks in the whole of the polytunnel here where I have the cacti sungs as a precaution to prevent mealy bugs. Because once you've sort of got on top of them, their neem oil is brilliant at keeping them all away. And it's very effective with spider mite as well. But of course, I've got this infection and it's quite bad. This was a ferro cactus that was at the back of the wall there. And of course, it was facing the one direction like this, where it looked absolutely perfect. But because I get them all, pick them all out individually and have a look at them thoroughly, I saw this on the other side. Millibugs have an annoying habit of hiding at the one side where you're not going to see them. But obviously every, every spring I go through the plants individually and lift them up off the table, check under the pots and everywhere because that's where they like to hide. Now, as I mentioned before, I have made many videos and what I like to do first is treat them with um, rubbing alcohol. In this case, this is isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I use it at 99%. It's, it's perfectly safe to use on, on cacti and succulents uh, because they're thick skinned and I've never ever had any problems. Certain type of succulents like some of the echeveras that are sort of rosy coloured and things, it can, can take a bit of the little powdery hue off them. So you do have to be careful, you may need to dilute it a little bit with a bit of water. But I've never had any problems with it. And especially with cacti like this, just using it neat um, and dabbing it, rubbing it on, it kills the uh, mealy bug and their nests on contact. But then obviously you want to stop, it's, it's almost impossible to get every one of them, they all sort of hide everywhere. So then I use the neem oil then as, um, as a prevention to stop them coming back. What neem oil does, if I was to just use neem oil straight on this, it would eventually, and I kept repeating it, it would eventually kill the mealybugs, but it's a, it's a slower process. And the reason for that is that neem oil works more on, their, on the insect's reproductive system. So it affects them by how when they reproduce it sort of makes them a little bit deformed and over time it, it, they stop they're not able to actually suck on the plants and take the juices out so a lot of people say oh i've been using neem oil but i'm still seeing insects you know they're still there but the difference is they won't attack the plants because they're weakened so they will eventually die off but it does take longer but it's a great prevention as you can see this is very badly infected so i'm going to be using the the rubbing alcohol straight on it and then treating it with neem and i've made a whole video on how to use neem oil on cacti and succulents both as to use on the actual plant itself to get rid of pests and also um, as a as a 
as a soil drench to get rid of soil pests again it's the same same sort of method but you water it in especially good for sort of root mealybugs and things like that but with neem oil it's, you do have to keep repeating it it's not a, a one one spray and it's and they're gone um, but I've, I think it's the best thing I've ever used neem oil it's brilliant and it's also great as well as a fungicide it's, it is very very good but as I say now this is the, the rubbing alcohol here poured a little bit into this little jar dabbing it on there and then I want to thoroughly get that in as you can see it, it dissolves them on contact and obviously this plant itself would have been treated with neem oil as all my plants were during the the summer and into the early autumn so you probably find that these mealybugs here are also quite weakened even though they've got the nests it doesn't seem to have done any real damage to the the ferro cactus itself but as I know, you know, if you've got mealybug, it's not going to be on just one plant, even if you can't see them. I've gone through my, my other collection, I can't see any on any of the others. But as you know, um, they do seem to appear out of nowhere. So after this, I'm going to be treating the whole of the uh, collection in the polytunnel with neem oil. Now it's springtime and the, the weather's getting warmer. That's it. See, it's great to get rid of them on contact, as you can see there. And to make sure there's more lurking here. The little tiny ones are called crawlers and they are the ones that are a real nuisance as well. So that's all you have to do, a little brush, a little clean brush, um, dipped in the rubbing alcohol, remove as many as you can physically see, um, which I'm going to be doing now. Gives the plant a little bit of a good clean as well. That's where they hide sort of all on the areoles of the, uh, the spines. And then I'm going to be treating it with neem. So that's just a bit of a video vlog and what to do should you see um, mealybug on cactus. And I've made hundreds, well, not hundreds, but many videos on treating mealybug with cactus. Because if you grow cacti and succulents, then, you know, at some point you are going to encounter this pest. So it's good to know what to do. Mealybugs are, they are a nuisance and they can be very destructive because they suck the juices out of the plant and they pierce into the skin. And uh, if it's not no, not, if it's not noticed, they can cause infection to get into the plant skin. Look at that, guys! I've just pricked myself. Ah! Oh. And people often say, "Lynn, why don't you wear gloves?" Well, I've been I've been dealing with cacti and suckers for so many years since I was a kid that I'm just used to getting uh, pricked by now. Excuse the pun. Doesn't really bother me. So. Uh, there we go. I'm just going to make sure I do all of this. Also, rubbing alcohol is very good. Ferro cacti actually produce a bit of a sticky sort of substance, like a honeydew, around their areoles. And this can attract what they call sort of black sooty mould. It's completely harmless. It's not like a mould that's going to be dangerous. Ferro cacti are very prone to it. Could, I think they call them nectarines, and it's to encourage sort of pollination and that. Um, and rubbing alcohol is very good to clean it up as well. And also when you find you have mealybugs, you often find you do get black sooty mould on whatever type of cactus you have because it does encourage the honeydew onto plants in general. That's all plants, even house plants. So there we go. I'm just going to make sure this is all been done. Just a bit of a video vlog for you. And now I'm going to spray this with horticultural neem oil mixed with um, horticultural soap. And uh, then repeat it, repeat the whole spray in five days' time. And as I mentioned, do check out the video on how to use neem oil as a treatment and prevention for cacti and succulents. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents, then please do subscribe to my channel and also check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to send you loads of love. Heaps of happiness and tons and tons of crazy cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video, bye. Bye.